Hello, thanks Jill for pushing record. <laughs> well, hey, welcome to day 33 of our 40-day journey with Dietrich Bonhoeffer. We'll be starting with the Psalms uh, after next week, and you'll hear more about that, and we'll give more information about what Psalms we're going to be looking at for our, our GLBC connections. But um, we're, we're on day 33 with Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Uh, have you seen the, the video of, uh, it's the YouTube video, where um, the guy sets a bunch of mouse traps in a room and then he, he throws a, a, a ping pong ball into the, the mouse traps and they all explode all over the place and react to each other. And this, something to do with, with Bonhoeffer's devotional for today as we think about how, um, how what we do and what we don't do affects the body of Christ. And, and his claim is, is that um, every act of self-discipline by a Christian is also a service to the community. Conversely, there is no sin in thought, word, or deed, no matter how personal or secret that does not harm the whole community. And I was thinking about how our relationships are intertwined and how what we do and what we don't do and how we respond and how we, how we um, live really affects the, the whole body of Christ. And right now that doesn't feel like that is true because um, we're, we're so disconnected in many ways. Uh, on Wednesday night, the elders got together and we, we prayed for people who needed prayer. We prayed for, for people who are, are walking through some really hard things. And then after our time of prayer, we talked about church things, about the future, how we're going to re-enter re um, ministry life, church life, worship, and, and how that correlates with the governor's um, phases, and uh, one of our elders, one of our younger elders, um, as we were talking about unity and how there are so many uh, views of this coronavirus, you know, some people think it's a conspiracy, some people um, uh, and, that think it's no big deal, and some are, are very um, fearful and serious about it and concerned, uh, not just fearful, but just very strongly concerned about it, and and... And as we were having that discussion, uh, one of the elders was, was pointing to the idea that, that our unity uh, in this time is so important as we think about how what we say and what we do impacts uh, each other in these times. Because we, let's face it, we all have different views. And so um, as I was thinking about Bonhoeffer's um, devotional for the day, um, I, I like... I like his, his question for reflection. If you're a journaler, he writes, how might you better serve the whole body? And I think uh, there's, there's going to be some significant ways that we can serve each other as uh, we re-enter into a normal or a new normal of what church life looks like. And that, that means that we all have different opinions and different ideas, but, but we really come together as the people of God who look out after the interests of others. And so as uh, we get closer, as we, as we move back into that, I just want us to be sensitive to um, our relationships with brothers and sisters uh, in the church as we, we think about what we say and what we do and what we don't say, and what we do, and uh, I just want to encourage us to be the people of God that encourage. You know, that, that ping pong ball mousetrap video really shows how um, things impact other things, and, and as the people of God, when we, when we live self-disciplined lives, when we, when we um, say no to things, uh, it, it's good. It, when, we, when we lay our lives down, it's good for uh, others in, in the church and in our families. And 
And conversely, um, when we um, when we sin, when we when we choose pride, when we choose selfishness, when we choose to do our own thing, uh, it has a negative effect on the body of Christ. So let's be the people of God that that uh, follows the Spirit's lead, and that we care for each other in these ways. So we sure are looking forward to seeing you all again. We'll be talking more and more about the future. Uh, this is beginning to unfold right before our eyes. And so uh, we're watching the governor's phases and her uh, plans to uh, move Michigan back into a normal. And, um, and we'll be tracking with her and our, our authorities on how that all works out. So uh, stay tuned and um, keep praying and and asking God to work in our congregation. Take care, God bless, we'll see you later.